Hello everybody, I am Green Toad Girl, and welcome to my new Let's Play, which you already know what it is because titles exist, but my new Let's Play, which is going to be... The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Now, I have a bit of a confession to make, um... This isn't a 100% blind playthrough. Uh, I have played um, about up to the first part with Wolf Link before, but that was also two years ago. And I have like very, very little recollection of anything that happened in this game, so it's pretty much blind. And then, obviously, following anything after where I played up to, it will be blind. But, um, I am super excited to get into this, so let's just start. Ah, the good old, good old, uh, safety startup screen. Miss that. It's been a while since I've played the regular Wii. Oh, look at that beautiful texture. <laughs> oh, it's so smooth, so polygonal, so gorgeous. I swear, I'm not making fun of the game. You ride that horse, Link. Just keep riding that horse. And there is the castle through the twilight. So Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. 2006. Wow. That's quite old. Alright. So what we are going to do, um, I am going to delete this and we are going to start a new file um, I am going to keep the name as Link otherwise um, the in-game dialogue is weird <laughs> so uh, how about see as much as I love Epona, I think I'm going to change your name. Ooh, I like the, the fairy fountain music here, it's nice. Um, to my trusty steed that I always go back to in, um, in Breath of the Wild, who I named Dusk, so. Alright. Let's see, squares. Um, let me see. I'm gonna change my aspect ratio. Uh, I think it'll be fine. They're they're close enough to squares. I can see. Different four different tones, okay. Alrighty, let's start this thing. Oh, it's really pretty. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. 
I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? You have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. It's getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this manor. Matter. Sorry. He's so loud. <laughs> I'm just like looking at the um at the audio and every time the Wii makes a sound you can see it pop up on there. <laughs> Control of our character. Come on. <laughs> Goodbye, Beth. I stare at you in silent appreciation. Helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Hey, where's Dusk? And there we go, now we have control of our character. Um, so right now, let's see, A does roll, B does nothing, the D-pad does nothing, um, whoa, hi, squirrel, or chipmunk, or whatever you are, <laughs> um, you can pick stuff up, ooh, hi, Ruby, um, throw it, break some rocks, like the animal that we are, is there a Ruby in here? No sadness. Um, anyway, let us go get our horse. That is the wrong way. Or maybe it wasn't. <laughs> oh. Hi, Rock. Never mind, I guess that wasn't the wrong way. I just didn't remember a big black void. <laughs> Where have you taken my beloved horse? Ooh. Where does this lead? Um, I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> my horse. How nice. <laughs> A 
apologize if you can hear cars outside my windows open. Oh, hi Link. I washed dusk for you. Silent gratitude. Dusk is a girl too, so you have to treat her nice like one. Oh, but listen, Link, could you do something for me? Could you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Dusk likes? Uh, sure. Aw, oh, she came to me. It's a good girl. Um, let's get on, I suppose. And get out of here. Let's go herd some goats. Like the expert rancher we are. <laughs> oh, it feels really nice to... Uh... To be playing something on the Wii again. I've been playing, um, like almost exclusively Wii U lately. Yeah. All right, let's see, where's that farm at? Oh, it's over here, I think. Makes sense. Read this sign. Dusk. Huh. Okay then. <laughs> I guess I'd have to get off her. Eh, I'm not gonna do that. So here we are at the Orden Ranch. So, um... Oh. Sorry to get you over there in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Dusk herd them into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Sure. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, then, go and herd all these little scamps into the barn for me. Okay. So let us get these goats into the barn. What was I saying? It's really gonna bother me now, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know why, but I just find like this super enthusiastic goat in to be like really hilarious. Come on guys. Get on in there. Get on in there. Oh, I remember what I was saying now. Um What species are the people in Ordin Village? Because they aren't Hylians. Because they have, like, round ears. So, it is my question how Link ended up here with them. Because apparently this is where he's from in this game. But they aren't even, like, the same type of people, which is interesting. Maybe I'll learn it. Maybe we'll learn the answer later. I don't know. You, get in there. Alright, this last one. Are they just called organs? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna sound really stupid if they aren't, but I, mean, I guess that's what I would- what I would just assume that they're called. <laughs> this type of people. There we go. 
I herded all them goats for ya. Link, Dusk, much obliged to both y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow uh, without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Wanna practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Whew, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. You'll get tired of riding, just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay bud? So, let's uh, do a bit of practice with riding around on Epona, or not Epona, Dusk, I forgot. I changed her name. <laughs> I, I, I honestly should have just kept it as Epona, because that's what I'm going to think of her as. <laughs> there we go. I'm not super, super great at at controlling at the controls in this game from what I've done so far, but <laughs> alright. Let's head on out of here. Uh sure. Thank you. Oh, it's the children. Hey, hey wake up, Link. It's morning already. Do you have to get me up this early every morning? You mean, mean children. Where's my bed? <laughs> Was it up there? I didn't see a bed, I swear. Cause that's a table, or a desk or something. That's a desk. Do I just... <laughs> I don't just like sleep on the ground, do I? These guys were so mean that they, they couldn't even provide me with, with a place to sleep. <laughs> Unless I'm just super ignorant and I didn't notice it, which is entirely possible and probably the truth. Um, anyway, let us talk to the children. Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. Why does the G look like that? I don't like that. Um. <laughs> A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need it. I must try it. Tallow, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two want it, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Aw. I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. Um, yeah, just to warn you, I do weird voices. But, um, so you know what we're gonna do? We are going to obviously buy that slingshot so the children can't have it. Because we are mean like that. But, um, right now let's just like, whoa, I mean to do that. Just, ooh, a blue ruby. Um, Collect some money first. So when the time comes, we can buy that wonderful slingshot for ourselves. Ow. <sighs> Sorry, Lincoln, I didn't mean to ram your head into the rocks like that. <laughs> I already looked through here. Alright, let's head into town. And get started with all of the flippin' side quests. <laughs> Just to get this game rolling. Hey. 
Well, hey, morning, Link. Got a day off from work today, my boy. Not me. Wife's been hassling me. Today's the day to restock our store. Look, see up there in that tree? If you see, and then blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, some warden bees built themselves a fine nest up there, and I was thinking about knocking it down. The cat hasn't come home since yesterday, so wife's in a bad mood. At the very least, I need to bring something home to her. Um. It's locked. Okay. What is this? Fado's house. Okay. Oh, he's at the ranch, isn't he? Um. Hey, Cuckoo. Can I pick you up? <laughs> if I remember correctly, you can, like, glide or something with them. Oh, well. Um, so... It's probably a terrible idea for me to actually, like, climb up there and try to get them. Whoa, did I jump? How'd I jump? Um. Yo, Link, try talking to me from there Well, Okay, Z target A. Cool. Hey, there you go. Over here. Yeah, your, your voice carries well, as usual. <laughs> what voice? <laughs> um. Think you can teach my little tykes to talk to someone from a distance while pressing A and holding Z? Sure, because, um, everyone in this universe, uh, has a Wiimote and nunchuck. <laughs> Yo, there you are. Check this out. You know Sarah the at the general store? Wasn't that our cat over there? He's just been sitting there staring- or next to my house having a staring contest with the creek. You don't suppose he's gonna catch a fish. He's thinking he's gonna catch a fish, do you? <laughs> I can't- I can't catch no fish. Anyway, that's not what I was needing to tell you about. I want you to take a look at something. See the grass over there on the edge of that rock? I haven't seen you whistling with that stuff. I figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could hop across these rocks with a quick little... Wait, is that how I jump? Uh... Oh, okay, so it's like an automatic thing. I don't have a button for it. Okay, good to know. Summon us a hawk. Um. Can I sick you on the bees? There you go. Aha, I was supposed to do that. Yes. <laughs> Hey, I got I got it down for you. Link, I saw all that. Calling down a hawk. Why didn't I think of that? I was thinking of trying to knock that down myself, but you beat me to the punch, my boy. So can I have it? Can I collect them? I can't. Sadness. Uh, what's this say? Okay. So, what are we going to do? We need to, um, get that slingshot. We need to catch that fish, though. Not catch a fish. Oh. Catch that cat, I mean. First. In order to, uh, get... Ooh! Got a yellow ruby. Cool. What's this? Oh, it's more of the hawkweed. <laughs> hawkweed. <laughs> There's a couple more rupees. I don't remember how much the slingshot costs. Oh, hi. Morning, Link. Sounds like Thought was handling things at the ranch on his own today. What's he up to- or when he's up there alone, I always figure some calamity or I didn't get to finish. Oh. <laughs> I thought I accidentally hit a button or something. <laughs> um. Cool. <laughs> Aw, Flato did it again. These goats are awful- awful skittish lately. You always gotta be on your toes. 
Sorry about that, Link, but thanks to you, that goat didn't get away. Come on. Come on. Go back. Go back on up there. Take the walk of shame. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I keep forgetting there's no jump button. I just keep, like, bashing his head into things. <laughs> eh? Oh, do you need... Ilya? Ilya for something? Sorry, Sonny. I was told that if you came by today, I wouldn't let you inside. There's locked yourself in your room, working um, crazy, like crazy on something. Or that was... I totally butchered that. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Uh, hi. Can I, can I talk to you? There we go. Oh, um, good morning to you. If you're looking for my husband, the he took his sword and left- Sword? Did I really just say sword? Wow. Wow, I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> he took his sword and left early for her. And left early this morning. But I must ask, Link. You have not seen a cradle come floating by here, have you? It is a baby's cradle made of finely woven tree bark. Oh, such a misfortune. How far could it have drifted, I wonder? So, we need to be on the lookout for her husband, a cradle. Um. Several other things. <laughs> Uh, but for now, let's just destroy some produce. Do I not get anything? And rupee? Aha! No, don't, don't climb. Wah. Why didn't that first one give me a rupee? I feel cheated. Um, let's, uh, is this open? What is this? Oh, I can go in here, okay. Oh, it's Sarah's store. So I'm assuming you're, or I have, yeah, I do have to go get the cat. So we have to go find the cat, find the cradle, find the fishing pole, get the slingshot, show up those kids, uh, find that woman's husband, <laughs> a whole slew of things, which we can do in the next episode. Yeah, <laughs> I think this was a pretty good start. Um, gone on about about half an hour, so. Thank you all so much for joining me on this first episode of this new adventure, and I hope you will all join me next time. See you then.